Hello and welcome to part two of the Pythagorean Theorem recap. So for this one, there are two things I want to cover. One, I want to address what to do when we have square roots and nothing but square roots. And then the other thing I want to talk about is the converse, converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. So we'll just call it the P Theorem. All right, so let's look at an example where uh, we have something in just square roots. And so we'll borrow this GeoGebra activity, and we're supposed to find the hypotenuse without using a calculator. Um, and so the reason why I want to recap this is just to kind of show you the relationship between square roots and squaring. So the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We're told that we have two legs, which are a and b, and the order we put them in doesn't matter, that they are the square root of 91 and the square root of 22. So what we do is we have to square them and add them together, and that's equal to c squared. So the relationship between squaring and square rooting is that they undo each other. So squaring a square root gets rid of that, and we're left with 91 plus 22 is equal to the square root, or sorry, is equal to c squared. So now we add these together, we'll have 3, 113 is equal to c squared. Take the square root of both sides, and if we wanted to, like if we didn't have a calculator, we could say that c is equal to the square root of 113. We can box that and walk away. And there we go. Let's do another problem just for good practice. Ooh, this is a good one because it's got something else there. All right, this is probably a little more advanced than we'll, we would tackle right now, but nonetheless, still a good to look at. So same principle applies. We're going to go with a squared, 5 root 2 squared, plus b squared, which is the square root of 43, square that, is equal to c squared. Now, square root and squaring cancel each other out, so we'll have plus 43 there. Now, the square goes to both of these, the 5 and that root 2. So when I square 5, I'm going to get 25, and these cancel each other out, so I'm going to be with 5 times 2. All right? Hopefully, you can kind of see how that's working. And later uh, in the year, when we talk about rules of exponents, and we look at polynomials and quadratics, this will make much more sense. Um, but right now, that's the easy way to kind of go about it. So this gives us 50. And so add these together, that's going to equal c squared. So we're looking at 93 is equal to c squared. Take the square root of both sides, and c equals the square root of 93. And we don't even need a calculator. All right, so that's one way to, uh, I just wanted to show you an example of dealing with square roots. In case you don't have a calculator, it is possible. You just have to know or be comfortable with dealing with the square roots. All right, the other thing I want to go back and talk about is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Now, the original Pythagorean theorem is that we have a right triangle. We get a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, the converse is we just flip it around. We're going to go from right to left. And so that is if we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, if we show that we can apply this, that means that whatever triangle we're dealing with is actually a right triangle. So it's sort of where we're proving that it's a right triangle. And so just to show you this, I have a, another little resource here from GeoGebra. Uh, right here, we have a program that was, or uh, this app that was programmed to take the length of this, square it. In this case, it's 32.15. Take the length of b, square that, which is 11 point, or actually the other way around, I guess. Uh, so this is the 11, and then this is the um, uh, 32.15. And when there's a 90 degree angle, we see that that relationship holds true. But if, I'll put a and b here, and c, I move things around, that relationship no longer is the case. a squared plus b squared doesn't equal it. And so the converse of the Pythagorean theorem is showing that this is not a right triangle. This is not a right triangle either. Even when we get kind of